Hey, welcome back. Uh, D7 C's here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. You know, I just had some time to just kind of uh, hang out and just do like a just a little casual thing, you know, um, uh, on something that I just got in. Uh, these are the Microtech knives. Uh, so I have the Microtech uh, die rack here. I did like a first impressions video on this guy. I'm gonna do like a full on review as I've kind of carried and used it a little bit longer. And then I got here, this is the Ultratech. And I've yet to do a video on this guy. Uh, this is not my knife, my father-in-law's knife. Uh, as you can see, I'm still <laughs> learning how to, how to, um, ah, um, you know, use these knives. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about Microtag. It's gonna be kind of a, a casual thing. I did write something down to kind of stay on point, but I might kind of meander here and there. So just sit back, relax, Um, you know, you get your cup of coffee and whatnot. But, um, you know, admittedly, uh, these are my first uh, automatic out the front uh, knives. You know, um, a lot of the pocket knives that I have in my collection, you know, it's gonna be, you know, I, I have a lot of flippers, you know, a lot of just manual folding knives. You know, uh, here's a DPX Hest uh, folder. So um, I, you know, I don't, you know, these two Microtechs are actually the first uh, switchblades that I have. I don't even know switchblades is like the correct term anymore. Um, I've heard people refer these to as automatic out the front or OTF knives. I think it's, I think it's most commonly kind of known as switchblades, right? Um, but I just kind of want to tell you my story and my experience with Microtex and how I got into it. You know, as you can see, um, I feel like, um, you know, I've been, I've been a knife enthusiast for a long time. You know, uh, I would say almost over 10 years now. And in that time, um, I was never really interested in automatic switch blades automatic knives uh i think one of the biggest reasons was that i just kind of fell into the you know i, I kind of bought into that popular belief that you know switch blades uh were for like the unsavory kind of sketchy type of folks who like to hang out in smoke uh, smoky you know bar rooms or in back alleys you know uh, i just really never gave them a chance you know i just um to me you know i just as a knife enthusiast, I just, that wasn't me, you know, and I just didn't really feel like I needed, like, an automatic knife, you know, I, I really enjoy, you know, I enjoy my, my manual folders, you know, I, I like the feel of, of just deploying a blade, I, I like the travel, you know, of just, yeah, of just engaging a blade, you know, as I open and close it, and so I feel like automatic knives, just, it wasn't my jam. And so because of that, I just never really gave them a chance, you know. Um, another thing I do want to say is like, I don't have unlimited resources, right? I know some, you know, some folks, they might have more, re you know, they have money to play with. Or, you know, we know, they're, you know, YouTube, YouTube reviewers, you know, they get sent knives and stuff. And dude, that's awesome. I feel like one day I would love to be able to have companies just send me knives. So I could like get in hand and, and review them. But you know, I'm not, I'm not at that point in my journey yet, you know? So all the knives that you see on my channel is like, I, I have to, you know, spend my own hard earned money for it. And so, you know, when I, when I'm, when I want a knife, you know, I'm going to think long and hard on on it you know just because yeah like once i buy a knife it might be a couple more months before i get another knife or it might be even longer than that and so i i i work with very limited resources so i just tend to land pretty far down on my priorities list you know um so i i'm i'm pretty uh you know, I'm pretty kind of thoughtful in the way I, I purchase my knives. You know, I ask a few questions, you know, will I most likely use and carry, you know, that knife? You know, does the design lend itself to like my cutting style and needs? You know, does the overall aesthetic appeal to my sensibilities, right? Um, what's the quality, uh, quality and performance track record of that knife? And does it, what does a company represent, right? I, I like to support companies that you know, that I feel like, you know, that I, um, I believe in their mission, I, I, or I really enjoy their story, you know, I, 
or I just really enjoy the people that created the company or whatever, whatever it may be, you know. And then, you know, uh, I think another really important thing is how's their customer service, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, if we're, you know, using our knives for whatever reason, I want to know that, um, you know, I could send these knives in to get it repaired and whatnot. And, you know, I'll be happy to pay for it, but I just want to know, like, what their customer service is like. Do they treat their customers with respect and whatnot? And then lastly is cost, right? At the end of the day, like, you know, can I afford them, you know? And, and so... You know, mind you, a knife on my radar doesn't have to like satisfy all of the you know the questions, right? You know, if it, it if it satisfies most of this criteria, then you know I I will usually pick it up. You know, um, I have to really weigh the pros and cons. You know, I, honestly, I think we all wish, right? We have unlimited resources. You know, like we have unlimited money to play with that we could just pick up a seven hundred dollar knife without a second thought and then the next day pick up another knife that we fancy right um i think those kinds of uh, those kinds of knife enthusiasts are far and few between so most of us we have to kind of really weigh the pros and cons of like all right like is this knife worth my hard-earned money right and so with switch blades with microtech in general or other kind of switch blade or otf automatic knife companies they just weren't on my radar you know because you know i i would ask this question will i likely use and carry a switch blade regularly uh no right um does the design lend itself to my cutting tasks you know, I've I've heard I have uh, both of these have uh, double edge, and you know, for me it was no, not really. Uh, does the overall aesthetic appeal to my sensibilities? You know, at that time, even before I handled a Microtech or, or an automatic knife, it was no, it, w it did not appeal to my sensibilities. You know, I was really just you know, I was really just to me it was like about like Chris Reeve knives, you know, uh, Spyderco's, um, you know, zero tolerance, we knives, you know, I just, you know, to me, like, I just didn't want to like, you know, um, what do you call it? In be intimidating or, or give the knife hobby like a bad name, you know? I mean, as it is when I have conversations with people and they find, you know, when I tell them like I'm into knives, you know, like, it's almost like their their kind of their gut reaction is like, oh man, like this guy's a weirdo, you know. <laughs> this guy's this guy's like one of those weird fanatics, or you know. And so like, you know, and and I tell them, hey, you know, this is the reason why I really enjoy the knife hobby. And then maybe like not even one minute into it, I, you know, they kind of lost the interest. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just like. You know, I feel like with automatic knives, there's just kind of more of a mental hurdle that, that I feel like people need to kind of overcome, including myself. Like I said, you know, I had like these mental kind of hurdles, um, you know, and what does a company represent? You know, like even before I even really looked into Microtech or handled a Microtech, you know, I just my uh, my kind of, I don't know, my assumptions against switchblades would already, you know, fairly negative right just because like the popular like i said the popular kind of cultural notion of switch blades like you know these things are for like assassins <laughs> you know these like these are really designed for other things uh, to say and and then the last thing is how's their customer service like i said because microtech wasn't on my radar i just didn't really know right um so you don't know what you don't know right but man boy was i wrong in so many respects man like i'll do a little close-up you know so how did i get into microtex right i had you know like they weren't on my radar i wasn't interested in them at all whatsoever but really it really started uh when my father-in-law uh we were hanging out and we ended up going to like a brick and mortar uh knife shop you know and we went in and I know my father-in-law, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's like a casual, I would say like knife enthusiast, you know, he's not, he's not like a hardcore, I feel like for me, for me, I'm kind of in a deeper level, um, but for him, he's just a casual, you know, he likes knives. And so we were in there and that that shop had like a ton of Microtex, they had like Ultratex, like you see, like the one here, they had uh combat truodons they had like you know utx 85 utx 70s so we got to handle it and handle them and at that time my father-in-law just 
immediately instantly just fell in love like he he wanted a microtech for me i'll still just like on the fence i'll just like oh these are cool but i don't ever see myself um you know having a microtech you know in my rotation uh but yeah after that experience my father-in-law was like hey daniel can you like you know can you see if uh he, you know if you could get me a microtech and i was like yeah sure i'll i'll you know i'll kind of look in the you know different forums different kind of secondary market uh platforms and see if i could get you like a a good microtech for a good price and so um i found this guy this is the ultratech and the l max deal uh granted this is a uh, the, you know, this came out in 2018, but it was in great condition. You know, the guy didn't really use it. And so, you know, got it for a really good deal. And, um, you know, I got it for my father-in-law. And so during that time, even before actually, before I purchased it, right? Um, you know, knife enthusiasts, like what we like to do, right? It's like before we purchase a knife, or let's say we actually bought a knife, we like to do our research, right? So we'll go on YouTube, like watch all the knife reviews, like everything that's on there. We'd re we'll read reviews, we'll do our research, we'll read into the company, you know, because like I said, it goes back to like, hey, if I'm gonna drop, you know, a few hundred dollars on something, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna get like something good, right? So that's what I do, I love, and that's one of the things I really, really enjoy. Uh, about the this knife hobby is just being able to to watch the videos and to talk to people and interact and get their experience and feedback on whatever knife that I'm looking to get. And so when I was looking for you know my father-in-law's um, uh, microtech, that's what I did. I started to research, and man, I found out some really awesome things. You know, um, first of all, like when it comes to like out the front, like automatic kind of switch blade kind of category microtech's name kept coming up you know like people were saying man if this is your first kind of like switchblade go for a microtech you will not regret it and like you know there's a, there's other companies out there but man microtech just consistently kept being recommended as like they are the best uh in this category like they they make the best like out the front automatic knives hands down there's like really no other <laughs> close competition so you know, I really focused on microtechs and during my research and, and just as I kind of was like looking into like, you know, which microtech I should get, I learned a few things and I, I love that. I, so first of all, I found out that microtech's founder and owner, Anthony Marfiano, was mentored by Chris Reeve himself. And you know what, that that's, that struck a chord with me immediately because I, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Chris Reeves fan, man. Like, I have several models in my rotation. They're, they're awesome knives, man. I don't care what other people may say. You know, and I actually even made a, a video, you could check my archives, and kind of just exploring and discussing if Chris Reeves knives are still relevant today. And you know what, they are, man, to be honest, like, you, they'll probably outlast you and possibly outlast your future generations. I think just, just the quality and just the, um, the, yeah, it's just a quality. It's just, I mean, they're great. Anyways, that's not moving on. <laughs> so yeah, I just found out like Anthony Marfion himself was mentored by Chris Reed. So I was like, you know, I know that I could expect a certain level of quality, um, excellence and attention to detail, man. If this guy, was under his tutelage i know that his knives are gonna be like man up there right second thing i found out is just that owners and users consistently raved about their great customer service now granted now that right now is like the whole like covid19 pandemic so everyone's customer service has been is delayed and whatnot but just a general consensus is that their customer service is just like man just top notch like they'll take care of you you know if you if you jack up your knife if you need it sharpened if you need to do a maintenance like they got your back they'll they'll take care of you they stand behind the product 100 percent. and i love companies that 
that really focus on a great customer service, right? There's some companies out there, man, they don't care about you, you know, like it, once they buy your knife or whatever, whatever product, they don't care. Like, it's like, hey, you're on your own. But man, Microtech, from what I've seen and read, it's like they, they'll take care of you. They'll go the extra mile to make sure you have a knife in hand that's going to be dependable, that's going to work for you. And it's just like that meets their high standard of quality. Um, the next thing I learned is that, that they've really designed and built their knives to to perform consistently under harsh conditions, right? So, you know what? I'm not going to be like in the desert, in the Sierra Desert, chopping wood, if that's even a thing, you know? Like for me, most of the day, I'm going to I'm gonna be like cutting through boxes, opening letters, cutting paracord or rope, or maybe even whittling wood or doing some food prep, you know? And I could, I'm, I am 100% sure this knife could take pretty much any everyday kind of task that I'll throw at it. But I love what, you know, Marfion, uh, uh, Microtech, they've really designed these knives to, to really allow you to put it through its paces, you know? And I, I love that. And I love how they, they'll engineer something that it will overperform for the user because at the end of the day, like that's what you want, right? You want to know that the tool that you have on hand ain't going to break on you, ain't going to malfunction and possibly hurt you, right? And I love how Microtech really, you know, um, is conscious about that and they really implement it in their, just their design and the way they engineer and build these knives. Last thing I say, uh, I learned is that it's, you know, they have a really a, an engaging and respectful community around like Microtech, you know, you know, I'm part of their Facebook group. Um, I'm part of the Reddit uh, group. And, you know, everything that I've seen so far, like, it's just a lot of just respectful discourses, a lot of respectful interactions. You know, I don't see just people like going off on each other. And, you know, I like that. Like, to me, that's, that's awesome, man. You know, when you have like that kind of community where it's like a commodity, right? And I think really, that's, the beauty of the knife community it's not just that we get to like you know play with these awesome knives it's that we get to like interact with other folks that may be different from us like in every respect other than the fact that we love microtech you know and then from there you get to like build like a relationship and have like just like yeah, a camaraderie, a brotherhood or sisterhood, you know, around these things. And I like that. I feel like Microtech's, like, community is just, you know, legit. You know, it's just solid. There's just a lot of respect, you know, just a lot of just, you know, um, yeah. I don't know how else to put it. I just found that Microtech users are, are a lot like me. You know, um, they appreciate thoughtfully designed, just well-built knives from a company that really supports their customers, man. At the end of the day, I just feel like, hey, I could support that kind of company. You know, that's why I, I, I support Spyderco. That's why I support, you know, Chris Reeve, uh, Zero Tolerance. I just feel like they are just, they got your back, you know. Um, you know, I found that as I start to really engage in the community and just really use these knives, like, you know, I didn't find no assassins or dagger and cloak type of individuals, you know. But mind you, I know that uh, a lot of law enforcement, a lot of like military folks uh, are, you know, gravitate towards Microtech and for good reason, right? <laughs> I, I just feel like Microtech really meets and exceeds the specs that they need for like a dependable tool, a hard wearing, hard use tool that they know that they could rely on, you know? And, and I feel like, yeah, man, if like, if it works for them, it's, it's gonna be way, it's gonna be overkill for me, you know? <laughs> and I think that's just something about like knife enthusiasts. I feel like once like law enforcement or military kind of just use, you know, a, a knife brand, like we kind of just, we're, we kind of are a little bit more confident in supporting that company because we know that it's definitely going to outlast and, and um, be more than capable for just a normal person like myself, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I, I went, uh, like I said, I found this ultra tech for my father-in-law at a good price and I bought it. And so now the waiting game, you know, begins, right? That's kind of the anticipation buildup. And so 
when this knife arrived, right? Like I said, I, I was still at that point. I was still like, was just like on the fence about Microtex and just automatic knives in general. You know, so when this guy arrived, I opened it up, right? And I can say that, that this was a day that I experienced firsthand why Microtech is considered by many. It's not only like a top like automatic OTF knife company, but one of the top elite knife companies in the world, I would say, you know? The precision of like the machine, like trigger. I mean, so some people call this a trigger or a switch. Um, we call it whatever you want. I'll just call it a trigger or switch. Just the, the, the precise way they machine this, this switch. Is, oh, mm. The sharp acoustics of the blade just, you know, being deployed and retracting. Oh, the acoustics are phenomenal. I'll bring out my die rack here. As you can see, I actually ended up getting my own Microtech, but um, just the um, the authoritative feel of the blade's action, man. Um, the consistent, smooth finish of just the aluminum handle. Oh, it's just a joy to hold in hand, man. And just the consistent bevel uh, of the double-edged grind. It's just all a testament to, to Microtech. So... In a nutshell, when I got this in hand, mind you, this is not my knife. I was like, holy smokes, man. I've been missing out. I've been missing out, man. Like I said, I've been in this knife uh, hobby for over 10 years. And I can't believe it took me so dang long, you know, to try something. You know, honestly, I was just like, it was a letdown for me. I was like, dude, I should have known better, <laughs> you know. So, like I said, so soon after this knife came in, you know, I gave it to my father-in-law, and then I was like, you know what? I need to, I need to get my own Microtech, man. You know, I, I need to, I need to add one to my rotation. All right. And so I started to look, and you know what? Like the micro, the Ultra Tech here is it, a fairly big knife. You know, you have almost three and a half inches of blade length. You know, um, I forgot all the dimensions and proportions of knife but yeah it, it is a fairly fairly uh long knife you could say a very slim profile though but so i wanted something a little shorter in length a little bit more edc friendly a little bit less like i guess intimidating if i was to pull it out in public and use it for whatever reason and so i started to look around i saw the utx 85 was an option utx 70 the truodon but i came across this guy man this guy right here. This is the Dirac. And, and I feel like this is not as popular of a model as like maybe the UTX-85 or the 70 or the other models. Um, but I really gravitated towards this guy, man. I feel like for me, it really fit the bill in all the right ways. It's just sleek. It's compact. You know, it's um, it's it's smaller than the Ultratech, but it's a little bit bigger than the UTX seventy. So it just fits. You know, it's just right. It's a sweet spot. You know, I I wanted something a little bit more carryable. Like I said, um, as one knife enthusiast put it, I forgot who said it, but um, they call this like the Goldilocks, right? It's just like per like just just right you know and i would totally agree right considering i mean the ultra tech is phew, sick right but i feel like for me for my kind of everyday kind of needs the the direct was just the goldilocks just right you know um and so yeah i, I got this knife uh i don't you know i found it for a really good deal and man guys like it, I, I went back to the question of, man, why did I take so long to try Microtech, man? You know? So if you're like me, right? Maybe you've been in this knife game for a long time. Or maybe you're just starting off. But maybe like OTFs or automatic knives aren't in your radar because it ain't your thing. It's just... I just want to tell you right now, I really encourage you. Like, suspend your assumptions and try it out, man. You know, and after you try it out, yeah, it still may not be your thing. But for me, guys, it became my thing, guys. <laughs> it really became my thing. So I really think this experience uh, really speaks into how we can let our assumptions really 
cause us to miss like the gems or the treasures in our life. You know, um, sometimes it can cause us to miss the connections, right? That I feel like it would enrich our lives in, in, a, in unexpected ways, you know? Um, and I don't want to make this into like a life lesson type of thing, you know, or like what, you know, all that's kind of like make, I don't know. But it just reminded me that a lot of times, like when we go off of our assumptions, right, whether it's about knives or whether it's about a person, right, you just assume something about a person, you could really actually miss something that would be a real big blessing to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like a lot of times we assume because we don't want to uh, take the time or the energy to experience it, right? And I get that. We don't have the bandwidth to try everything, right? And so we'll just rely on our assumptions sometimes or hearsay to just make a judgment call. And I get that, right? But I just feel like that can also, like I said, lead us to missing out on some great things or, or some great people, you know? I think if you're like me, you may be like delaying the next best thing in your life, whether it's like a beautiful relationship, a fulfilling vision or career, or in this case, a microtech, baby. You know, like any like community, right? The knife community isn't perfect, right? It's, it's going to be full of people, man, that have different opinions just diverse backgrounds and, and life experiences. And it's all kind of revolves around like our love and appreciation for knives, right? You know, and I think that's what really though makes this knife community so awesome, right? Is because of the differences, the diversity. It's because like we get to connect with one another in ways that we may probably may not have connected if it wasn't for our love for knives, you know, <laughs> or microtech in this instance, you know, um, many times I've seen like, you know, knives are like our conversation starters, but it ends up, you know, we, we end up building a relationship and a, and a, and a connection where I've seen folks like, you know, just support one another when we're going through like our rough patches, you know, and we all have, man, if you're a human being, and you're on this earth, I can guarantee you, like, you've gone through a rough patch, right? Like, you know, I've gone through rough patches. You've gone through rough patches. You know, we've all gone through seasons in life where it's just like good times, bad times. Man, I get it, right? And, but I've seen, like, the knife enthusiasts, like, we've, you know, largely, like, been there for each other. You know, I know I was saying like, there, you know, therapy and whatnot, you know, like, but it's just like that one word of encouragement literally might have made, you know, it made, made a difference for someone. Like, I don't want to like make it super serious, but like, I know personally for me, like, like one word or one encouragement has drastically changed me, you know, from being at the, like on the edge to like realizing, dude, like. Uh, you know what like life is good like there's something to be thankful for you know like there's something to like live for I, okay sorry i'm getting way too like <laughs> intense here but i think it's more i just want to remind myself and you man like the knife community is much more than just like about knives at the end of the day right it's it's like we build a connection and this kind of just like this friendship that kind of revolves around these cool things you know um, man, you know, going, I, I, I started this YouTube journey fairly recently, man. And I've kind of had my shares of like people like being rude or just disrespectful. And I get that, man. I don't take it personally, man. Cause you know what? Like, I don't know what kind of day, you know, that person has had, you know, like, I don't know what they're going through. So I can't say like, man, that person's a, a just a, a punk like i'm gonna jack him up like or whatever because i don't know what that person is going through so like my default is just i just assume man hey brother or sister like you know like i just assume you're going through like a rough patch in life and i want to extend that same grace that's been extended to me when i went through my rough patches and i was just being a jerk and i set things out of my butt you know because i was angry and i get that and so like Oh man, this is going way out of. Okay, coming back to Microtech. 
<laughs> if you're like me, like, if you've never considered a microtech because of, like I said, its reputation or it's just it's not your style, I get it. Um, but I think one of the great moments of the knife journey, it isn't like the, those moments where you you get a knife that you knew you were going to like. You know what I'm saying? Like like you you get you get a knife and you know like pretty much you're going to enjoy it and it's going to be awesome, right? To me like the greatest joys is when I get a knife that I totally didn't expect to like at all. You know, those knives that really like surprised me. You know what I'm saying? Like those are the, the those moments where I'm like, dude, I found like I discovered, you know, and it's just like so super exciting and Microtech that's what it, it, it is for me, man. You know, honestly, I did not expect to like these knives as much as I thought I, 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 I am now, you know, to be honest. Like these are, and, and like I said, because I'm like, I'm on a limited kind of financial resource. Most of the knives I get, I'm pretty sure I'm going to love because I do my research. I read all the reviews. I see all the reviews. I I'm in the conversations, you know, Microtech, man, it was like, oh, dude, like I missed out. I missed out. And I'm so glad that I'm finally able to experience Microtech. Um, so, yes, guys, I just want to encourage you, um, you know, look for those moments. To me, Microtech, man, it did it for me, you know, and I'm, you know, it really kind of opened up. Um it opened me up to other knife companies that I feel like I wouldn't have otherwise, you know? And I think those are, that's the, the fun part of this knife journey. It's like discovering those, those gems, those treasures, you know? Uh, so with that being said, guys, I know this was like a long video, but, um, yeah, you guys, thanks so much for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day and get yourself Microtech. <laughs> I have not been sponsored by them in any way, man. I'm just another knife enthusiast like you. Anyway, take care, guys. Bye.